Brazil. and on here we inspire you to look within you to be the best version of you that you were created to be right on here you get content on love relationship worship just really really pure good stuff okay for all our returning subscribers god bless you and if you haven't subscribed to this channel and you want to please go ahead and do so so today i want to answer a question that one of my beautiful sisters asked me and I'm gonna answer this the best way I can. I don't know everything, but the little I know from my little experience, I'm gonna share, okay? Her question was this. She said, how do I spot a counterfeit partner? <laughs> wow, wow. Now, for me, I believe that questions like this come from a place of an experience, uh, and maybe you're, you're really seeing some things that are not according to your normal, right? Because for every original, there's a counterfeit. You know, uh, once, 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 once there's good, there's evil. So it's that kind of thing. And for me, I'm going to start by saying that spotting a counterfeit, it depends on what you're looking for and what standards you have for yourself. Okay. But for me, whoever is a suitable spouse, it's someone that is going to treat you according to the standard of God's word. I'm not talking about the standard that the world has. The standard of God's word is the prime thing. If he or she is not treating you that way, then begin to know that they are not they are not original, so to say, okay, or they are counterfeit. That's where I'm gonna start it from, okay? And I want I want you to look at the relationship, look at what you're trying to get out of it. Then you know. Now there are people that will treat you fine because they want to benefit from you. And if they discover that it's not moving the way they want, then they begin to behave funny. Is that person real? No, no, no. Okay, now I'll take it back to when I was single, right, I have this experience like when I get really serious with God, when I really take on this whole marriage thing serious and I really pray and I want God to send me, you know, or give me a sign that he's the one. You know what happens? During that period, all sorts of men come from everywhere. That is like there's a bunch of distraction in the atmosphere, you know. And lots of counterfeit. And the truth is, sometimes some of them come and they're looking like what you're looking for. And then you discover that no, they are not. Okay, now let me, as I said, this is not in any particular order, but it depends on you and what you're looking for, okay? A man should be able to take care of his woman, right? And not only when we have issues, okay? For, for example, I was in a relationship one time where each time there's a problem, that guy makes it a, a thing to go and send me money. To me, that's, that, that's a counterfeit, so to say, okay? Because we are not going to resolve issues in that marriage by you buying me stuff, some things we need to just talk them through. So stop buying me stuff to get me quiet. No. Not You don't wait when we have problems and you go send me money. If you want to send me money, if you want to do stuff, do it. Don't wait for a problem to come up before you do it. Okay? Another trait that you can pick out from a counterfeit, like I said, it depends on what you're looking for. It's a man that is, or, or, or someone that is not ashamed of you, or that is not afraid to show you off to his family and the people that are important. I'm not talking about putting your social media. No, 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 no. I'm talking about a man that is ready to show you to the right people. Now, when, when Boaz was interested in Ruth, he didn't just go doing sneaky things behind. No, he was able to show Ruth to his family, to the whole community. Now, if he keeps hiding you that and tells you, no, I'm not really ready. I don't want people to know about you. I don't want family to know about you. Something is not right right there. You call it counterfeit or you call it a red flag, I don't know, but something is not cool there. Because most times counterfeit is as good as red flag, okay? So it, it really, really depends, okay? Now, you have you have a man that uh, he, he treats you really, really bad, okay? But when certain people are around, he treats you good. Is that counterfeit or real? Now, another way you can know is a man that, let's say, I'm talking from a man's perspective because I'm a lady, okay? It's it's both ways. You figure it out if you're a guy, okay? Say, for example, be a man that is ready to invest in you, not looking at this is me investing in you, but investing into us. That's a, in quote, a real man. That's not a counterfeit. Now, I'll say this, right, because I, I, I had the situation to us. I said, I mostly speak from my experience, right? This guy then, he thought I was some property of his, and because I was his property, he wasn't investing in in me, so to say, because one time one time he was paying for a course I was doing. It's not because I couldn't pay, but he was paying then, right? And he was treating me like an asset that he owned. It wasn't like this is I'm doing it for our family, I'm doing it for us because of the future we are going to. So 
if if you are in that kind of a relationship and you're not really sure those red flags honestly sometimes i always tell ladies trust your instincts i promise you trust your instincts right so a counterfeit or a fake for me the prime thing is is he treating me according to the standard of god's word is he nourishing me is he making me grow is he helping me be better if he's not doing any of that then i begin to worry about that and then the other things are things that you can figure out like is he taking care of you i'm not saying he becomes your sponsor or your father no 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 but a man that loves his woman takes care of the woman all right it's not about you taking care of her beauty. A man that loves his woman shows the love. If he's not able to show you or show people that he loves you, and if you don't even believe in the love, then something is off right there. Okay? So this the whole counterfeit thing is a bit too broad because I don't know what spec you have for a partner, right? So it would depend on what you're looking for, what your future is about. Then you can know that, okay, if this thing doesn't align to my values, my priorities, or my, 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 my walk with God, then this is really a counterfeit. As I said also, there are times that these people just come in and they're real, a, point, a real distraction to what the real deal is. So it's not about ticking a perfect list. It's not about ticking a perfect list. It's about going for what you want and doing the necessary work to make it work. I really don't know if I've answered your question, but like I said, a counterfeit or fake, you best can identify. But if, if it starts from, if you're a believer like me, if the core, the standard, the word of God is not there, if he doesn't treat me as the word demands, then it's definitely a counterfeit, all right? So red flags is a whole different thing and it's a wide topic, but I just want to leave it here today. What do you think? How can you spot a counterfeit partner? Are they the kind that cheat? Of course, if he's cheating, he's counterfeit. That's true. <laughs> you know, some people say, no, men cheat. But no, it's not a norm. It, the word of God doesn't agree to any of that. So that's it. Okay? So thank you. If you like this video, go ahead, like, share, 